Hello everyone. Today's video is going to be three simple tips on how to cope with chronic illness. If you're new to the channel, welcome. We're happy to have you here. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date with our weekly videos on mental health related topics and coping skills for you to apply in your own everyday life. My name is Gabriel Arroyo and I'm a licensed marriage and family therapist located in Southern California. My specialty in therapy is working with children and families with chronic illness. What led me to this passion is my own specific experience with being diagnosed with diabetes at the age of 10 and being provided a therapist to help me cope with all the changes in my own life. This had led me to uh, wanting to help others with similar experiences and using my own experiences to provide some insight and helpful coping strategies to cope with their own chronic illness. So here's three simple tips on how to cope with chronic illness. First, you are not your chronic illness. You are you. Be yourself. Chronic illness is a part of our lives. It doesn't have to be our entire life. So I happen to have diabetes, but I am not a diabetic and diabetes does not control my life. It's a part of my life, not my entire life. So be you. The second part of that is be compassionate to yourself. Some days are going to be harder than others, and that's okay. We're allowed to feel that this particular situation and this illness sucks, and it will, right? There's days that I wake up and my blood sugars might be all over the place, and I just feel horrible. I feel like I'm dying, and I feel super sick, and I'm just like, man, today sucks, right? You're allowed to feel that way, and you're allowed to say that the illness sucks, um, and just having compassion for yourself, that sometimes it is hard. The second tip is be yourself, stay true to yourself, and stay engaged with what you're passionate about. Now, I know depending on our illness, we could have certain limitations that might make it more difficult to engage in activities that we may want to. So with that, we challenge ourselves to how can we stay involved with what we're passionate about? I'm constantly inspired with these amazing stories of how individuals are overcoming their limitations and staying engaged with whatever physical activity or passion and hobby that they're into. Challenge yourself to stay involved with that, of what makes you you, what you're passionate about. And the third and final tip is, it's all about our social support. So being engaged with our friends, our family, and anybody else that's going to help uplift you and feel better throughout this. So engage with your support to either get your mind off of things or to just uplift you and provide you just some overall emotional and mental support while coping with this chronic illness. I also think that there's a tremendous value in having a support, uh, like a support group that can relate to your own experience. I think that there's a big difference in uh, engaging with people that have experienced the same symptoms you have and know firsthand versus just knowing by textbook or, or having knowledge about the illness. So if you're not involved within that community or support group that's experiencing the same chronic illness you are, I highly encourage you to look into it. I think that it's, it's an amazing connection that we get to build with somebody that truly understands what we're experiencing. Be sure to comment below on which tip was most helpful for you or what tip you have for us on how you cope with chronic illness. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to stay up to date with our weekly videos on mental health related topics and coping skills for you to apply in your own everyday lives. Thank you.